welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today I have my yearly paper planks unboxing and that is because I buy my mom a journal from paper planks every year. If you go in a Finnish bookstore you don't have so many options at least you didn't have a few years back so there was only this one option that had like a place to journal every day and she likes to have one weekly view and there is a equal amount of space for every day because it's a journal and she doesn't need any like times or anything or to-do lists she just wants to write a few lines every day but she doesn't like those five-year journals or anything like that. I have tried to introduce her to those, but no. She wants to have a one book where it's the full year. And then I was asking what she likes about those that she is using Paulo Coelho journals. And she didn't like the pictures. She didn't appreciate the quotes. I always saw that she had like covered the quotes with some like weather report or something like that and that is the reason why i then bought her the paper planks in the first place because these are very simple and there is nothing extra the paper quality is pretty good and as you can see this is the sixth year in a row that i'm buying her paper planks and i ask her every year so do you still want to have one and she says yes so here I have again a journal for my mom for next year. Let's open the package. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I always miss these open here, but now I saw it and I was just about to say that it's hard to open, but let's try here. This doesn't work either because this pouch is here. My mom likes these that are like, this is the what's it, maxi size. So this is about A5. It's the same height, but it's a little like one centimeter or so like small. Oh, this is pretty nice this year's cover. So she wants to have every year a different cover and this is pretty amazing. That's like a stone here in the middle. It's like a bit shinier. Can you see? Oh. And this year there were four different options in this size, in this layout. Week at a time, horizontal, maxi size, 100 GSM, 12 month planner. They, they also have these 18 months. But that 18 month, that doesn't work for a journal because then you always have like six months extra. Maybe I can talk and flip at the same time. <laughs> Let's try that if you want to see what's inside. So of course my mom doesn't like this or she doesn't need this. But, but I think she like puts like just pictures or cuts something for a magazine and covers these up. So these are like pages for her to put pictures. Oh, then there's a few note pages and then we go to the year. So just a simple, oh, this paper feels so smooth. It feels like smoother than before. I don't know or smoother than the paper that I have in my paper planks now. I don't know, it feels nice. One week at a glance, and now I actually see that there's the here are the moon phases, which is quite nice. Well, my mom, I don't think that she's interested, but I would be. But this is like a nice layout for a journal. If you want to write just a few lines every day, and then in the back, you get the yearly views, holidays, notes, and a year planner for the next year. World time zones. Yeah, everything that my mom doesn't need. And then there's, oh, there is quite a lot. Well, no pages. Okay. And then in the back, there is this memo. 
book. Acid-free sustainable forest paper. So, but I know that my mom doesn't like use always so quality pens. So that doesn't help if she has a nice journal if the pens aren't any good. But I have been thinking that maybe I should buy her this year for Christmas a few pens to test out. Or actually I saw that she had bought those crystal big pens. So those are I think better quality ink. So maybe it's okay. I don't want to stress her out with a pen <laughs> selection. And then there is a elastic closure if you want. And yes there is this pouch in the back where you could put something. So this is what my mom wishes every year and I buy her this as a birthday or Christmas present. This year they had four different covers and the one of them, the brown one, was that that she has this year. And then there was one with the birds and butterflies. She has had that same kind of design, but a little different. And then there was a fourth one. Which I think it was a bit brown and a bit busy. So this one, this year I showed my mom the options because I have been buying already for five years. And I wanted to give my mom a chance to decide because I was like running out of ideas. As I said, half of them was something that she has already had. So I didn't know if she wants to have something that she has already had or something different. And she wanted to have that every planner journal is different. So I'm hoping that they will come up with something different next year so that I can keep buying different covers. But then this caused a bit of like an, how would I say it nicely, budget disagreement with my spouse. And I need your help now so that we can settle on this disagreement. <sighs> this planner, and I buy these from Germany because they don't sell this size, this format. They usually sell the, I think it's called MIDI. So they sell that here in Finland in the bookstores, but not this A5, closer to A5 size. And my mom, of course, wants to have this size. So this cost $19.95 and the shipping would be $9.99. So in total, that's $29.94. And you get free shipping if you buy with 30 euros. So there is like, if I pay six cents more, I get free shipping and I get like a lot of more stuff because I don't have to pay the almost 10 euros for the shipping. So of course I bought something else too, because I don't want to pay the 10 euros of the shipping. So I bought this A6 notebook. Uh, this is the paper O. I have seen these also previous years, of course, on the site when I have bought my mom's journal, but I have never bought these before. How could I open this? I don't want to break it. And this was nice. They had also B6 slim size which was quite close to the Hobonichi weeks. And I was thinking about that, but because I didn't have a real use for it and they had only blank and lined. So I didn't buy it this time because I was needing an A6 journal. So I chose this and it's very hard to open. And if I like the paper, I can consider the basic slim for next year. So, oh, I got it open. This is A6, acid-free paper also lined, a flexi page marker. Let's see what that means. And this was the Yoko Ori design. Let's see. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is this is fun. 
If you want to read it, you can now pause. And I, I like this. This is fun, this. <laughs> so here we get the instructions for this bookmark, how to use option one, option two. Should I like understand this? Oh no, I can't understand this. I don't understand that A, B. Okay, I have to study maybe this bookmark thing. <laughs> so I can put it like, bend it here and put it like this. Or then I can put it like this. I don't know why here or here. Here, okay, this is shiny. And I chose the line one. So my idea was to use this either as a gratitude journal or as a moon like a dreams wishes journal and this lays pretty nicely flat and what it depends of what's happening here look <gasps> my oh no my pages are clued together okay so why why oh my so okay so we have a little situation here going on we have a little situation this is like seriously clued together <gasps> Oh my, oh, it break. Okay, so I'm not so excited about because this is, oh, let's see. Oh my, I have to like tear it. It breaks, it breaks, it breaks. That one broke and then here I think I also have to force it. Yeah. Okay, so not uh yeah, no, that's not nice. I don't want to look. That's like oh, I don't want to have to ah. Oh. Okay, that's like seriously not nice. So probably <laughs> after this like experience now I will say it will be my it will replace my paper planks journal for this year which I have used now as a gratitude journal and yes well this is also pretty smooth maybe I just it feels smoother, this new paper. I think it feels smoother. But okay, so this will now then replace my gratitude journal because ah, uh, it's not perfect. Let's try it out. It fits nicely. Yeah, that will be a nice gratitude journal, but I can't handle this as my dreams, wishes journal because I have these broken papers here which were glued together so that was an experience and although these were nice and so and they what spent five years designing this I'm probably not going to buy these anymore let's see well we will see how the paper works with a fountain pen. So that's of course one test that we have to do. This was only 595, so I still have some money to spend if I want to have the free shipping. And then I learned something. So 
Did you know that paper planks makes also washy? <laughs> I couldn't resist. So, and they, well, they sell it in these two packs. So you get two designs. Oh, this package is pretty nice. Look here. So you can see here the one design and the, which this package is nice. So, and here you see the other design and I really wanted this design. I thought this was very nice from the new designs and because it's a two pack then I had to take the two rolls because I couldn't buy it without the other one which I didn't like because I would have chosen this and some other one if I could have bought just one roll at a time. But as I am a washi lover, I really wanted to test these paper plank washies out. Because if everything goes well, I keep buying these paper planks journals for my mom for many years to come. Let's hope for that. So then I have to have something what I want to buy from there if I want to get the free shipping. And I think it's pretty nice that you already get free shipping from 30 euros. That's like excellent because there are some shops in Finland that I get free shipping first if I buy with 100 euros. And that's like and then I get free shipping if I buy with the 30 from Europe. So that's a bit weird, but it doesn't, I can say already, it doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. It's like very strongly uh, here on the roll. So I feel like I will break it if I pull it. So I have to be very careful. And then I feel like it doesn't have so much glue. I don't know. Well, I have to say it doesn't like... I'm not convinced. Let's put it that way because... Let's see. Well, I, it you will know when you use it. But this was the one I wanted. Isn't that pretty? I think that's pretty. But it doesn't matter how pretty it is if it's not good in use. The prettiness doesn't help. I will test them out. But they are pretty. And these like the ones they had there, these are the same designs that they have on the journals. So I th thought that was a nice try, at least from paper planks to go with washi tapes. They were like for the, if you are doing a bujo, so you have something to put in your journal. These were 6.95, so 350 a piece which is the same price as empty washi here in Finland. It's like a high-end price and I hope these will be a high-end product also as in use but we will see. But they are pretty. They are very pretty. And then to my budget disagreement that we had with my spouse. So if you can help me, I would very much appreciate. I don't know which side you will take. <laughs> Here is the price of my mom's journal. And then this is the shipping price. So if I would have bought only this journal for her as a present, it would have cost me $29.94. But then I get free shipping from 30 euros. So I added this journal. 595 and those washies so those were 1290 so together that was 3295 and then to the disagreement i thought <laughs> of course i thought it like that that i would put those 2994 euros to the present category so at that that's the price of my mom's present and then only what goes over why i have calculated like that 
there is something wrong. This goes to the present category and I put only this 2 euros 91 cents to my passion spending because that's the extra from the present. But my spouse did a disagree and said that's like I'm that would be a nice word like I'm lying to myself or that's like cheating. Yeah, that's cheating. So I have to put this price to my budget as a as the present price and then this whole sum of these to my spending passion spending budget. I could also have bought just this one, but I just felt bad to pay the 10 euros for shipping if I could like get that like something value for that money. So that's why I wanted to buy something extra so I get the free shipping. And I thought I could put only this smaller sum to my budget. But what do you think? <sighs> what would you put in your passion spending budget? This sum or this like the real sum and then put the smaller amount to the present. But I'm, I'm just like that opinion, like I wouldn't have bought, I wouldn't have bought anything from paper blanks if I wouldn't have bought this present for my mom. Please help. How should I put this in my budget for this month? Oh. <laughs> I can go with this so that my spouse is happy, but I would like to know how you would do this. This was my little haul from paper planks this year. Not so happy with the journal. I don't know why the pages were glued together. So let's try if the paper is any good. Very happy with my mom's present. And that is the most important thing. And a little bit hesitant about the washies if these are like good quality in use but that will time will tell that if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet thank you so much for watching have a nice day i see you soon bye bye